Madam Toastmaster, fellow members, and welcome guests. John D. Rockefeller is considered one of the wealthiest individuals in history. He was not only an oil tycoon, but like everyone here, he was an entrepreneur and an investor. And as an investor, he was quoted in asking and answering the following question. He asked, do you know the only thing that gives me pleasure? And he answered, it's to see my dividends coming in. <laughs> dividends, ladies and gentlemen. John D. Rockefeller, one of the wealthiest individuals in history, preferred investing in companies that paid him cash dividends. So I have a question for you all now. Should you, as did John D. Rockefeller, invest in companies that pay cash dividends? Yes. yes. <laughs> and, I, and I agree with you. In fact, I think that most investment portfolios should be comprised of dividend paying companies and have three reasons for this. The first reason is because such companies are of lower risk. In order to pay a recurring dividend either month after month or quarter after quarter, companies need established business models. Otherwise, an average shift in customer preferences, technology, or the economic, economic climate would adversely hurt profits, drop cash flow, and cripple the balance sheet, which would ultimately lead to a cut in the dividend or even the elimination of it, which would be very embarrassing for any company. That's why companies that pay to dividends typically have long track records of operating profitably in good and bad times. Another reason why such companies are of low risk is because the dividends themselves are a harbinger of earnings quality. In order to pay a recurring dividend, companies actually need to have legitimate earnings. And companies with legitimate earnings are less likely to be accused of accounting fraud. So in the past decade, I think we've heard of companies such as Enron and Nortel. Those companies are high flyers that saw their share prices reach stratospheric levels as they reported higher and higher earnings. Those companies eventually went bankrupt as news of their accounting scandals hit the front pages and neither company ever paid a dividend. Clearly, you can fake earnings, but you cannot fake dividends. Part of investing is about managing risk. And investing in dividend paying companies helps lower that risk because such companies have established business models, higher earnings quality, and that's exactly it. <laughs> and if you ask me, it helps investors sleep better at night. The second reason why I think you should invest in dividend paying companies is because on average they have higher earnings growth. But most investors don't understand this because it's counterintuitive. Most investors believe that companies that don't pay dividends and retain all their earnings will have more capital to reinvest into new projects which will grow their earnings faster in the future. Makes sense. The research by finance academic and institutional money manager Robert Arnett has shown this to be false. In fact, his research shows that as more earnings are paid out as cash dividends, the higher the future earnings growth will be. The reason for this counterintuitive finding is a tribute to capital discipline. Companies that pay dividends effectively have less capital to work with. As a result, their managers need to be more efficient in allocating that capital. In addition, capital discipline minimizes adverse behavior on the part of managers. For example, managers will, be less, or will have less opportunity to invest in pet projects or risky business ventures that do nothing but burn cash. They'll also be less inclined or less able to make senseless acquisitions that will that do nothing but, but for the sake of personal empire building. So in other words, dividend paying companies have higher earnings growth because they're leaner and leaner. I think those are the type of companies that investors want to invest in. The third reason why I think you should invest in dividend paying companies is because it's an investment strategy proven to outperform. Finance academic professor Jeremy Siegel from the Wharton School, he has reached this topic and he has concluded that investment strategies focused exclusively on high dividend yielding companies consistently over the long term, outperform the benchmarks and they do so with less risk. Professor Siegel attributes this to dividends being a bear market protector and a return accelerator. And I'll explain what he means by that. 
dividends are a bear market protector because the dividends are a cash, and during a bear market, they're going to cushion the returns. But the dividends themselves can also be reinvested, which is where the return acceleration comes from. As you know, during bear markets, share prices are very low. So if you have cash, say cash from dividends, you can opportunistically buy companies on the cheap. But you can take it one step farther. Further, you can buy exclusively high dividend yielding companies on the cheap, and your returns will accelerate when the market rebounds. So just to quickly sum up, an investment strategy focused on high dividend yielding companies consistently outperform because the dividends themselves cushion returns on the downside and accelerate them on the upside. When I started this presentation a few minutes earlier, I talked about John D. Rockefeller and how he preferred to invest in dividend paying companies. And I think we all know why now. Such, company, such companies of lower risk provide higher growth and it's an investment strategy proven to outperform. So let me ask you one more time. Should you, as the John D. Rockefeller, invest in dividend paying companies? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>